A breast cancer can present as a palpable abnormality in a symptomatic patient, but a lot of times it's totally asymptomatic where you cannot even feel a lump and we see it on a screening mammogram. And how we see it on a screening mammogram is it's firstly could be a small mass or it could be a subtle area of distortion or an area of microcalcification. If it is a small cancer that we find on a, on a screening mammogram, that has a lot of advantages to it being a palpable mass because you have better treatment options, less aggressive treatment options, and a higher chance at curable treatment. The benefit of a screening mammogram is that we have the ability, even when a mass is not palpable, to see a area of distortion, which we can see subtly on a 2D mammogram, but is better seen with our 3D imaging, where the area of distortion caused by the breast cancer is highlighted on the 3D mammogram. When we see an abnormality like this on the mammogram, we then do an ultrasound. And on ultrasound, we have seen a mass in this case, which measures 1.5 centimeter. And because we can see it on ultrasound, we can then do an ultrasound guided biopsy with a needle that takes a sample of the lesion on ultrasound. One of the other benefits of having a screening mammogram that can pick up a very early breast cancer is by us able to see microcalcification, which is a subtle area of calcification seen on this mammogram, where we can do magnification views and be able to see the calcification in more detail and characterize it and decide if it is something that we think is benign meaning that it is not a cancer, or malignant, meaning that it is a very early cancer which has not broken through the ducts and has not spread through the rest of the body. But if left, can actually become an invasive cancer and spread um, to involve the rest of the body. These cancers, because it's not a palpable abnormality, we do not usually see them on an ultrasound the ultrasound findings are usually normal, so we have to biopsy them under the mammogram machine, so we call this a stereotactic biopsy. And this is the specimen that confirms that we have biopsied the area of the calcification. You can see the tiny little dots of calcification within our specimen, and that's how we find DCIS, which is a pre-invasive breast cancer, which would not be a palpable abnormality and is only seen on a screening mammogram. In a patient where a breast cancer is palpable, um, these are usually larger cancers as in this patient who presented for a mammogram because of a palpable abnormality in the left breast, which shows a mass in the left breast, but also shows some increase uh, in the size of her left axillary lymph nodes, which would be suspicious for metastatic lymph nodes, meaning that the cancer has spread to the axillary lymph nodes. This patient went on to have an ultrasound where we found quite a large area of abnormality, firstly within her left armpit, where we have enlarged lymph nodes, as you can see on this image. And within the breast, we can see that she had more than one mass, which is these small little dark areas that we see on ultrasound, which tell us that these are irregular areas on the ultrasound and is likely to be in keeping with a breast cancer. This was biopsied and was proven to be a breast cancer, but because she already had lymph nodes, we knew that those had spread to her armpit. So we did further staging of her breast cancer with a breast MRI. And on her breast MRI, this is what we call a MIP image, which is an image taken of all the contrast enhancement areas within the breast. And you can see in this left breast that there's extensive involvement with a large area of this left breast involved with the breast cancer, but also the lymph nodes in her left axilla. 
and unfortunately because of the size of the tumour and the spread to the lymph nodes it had also spread to involve bone and the internal mammary lymph nodes. So this is a bone metastasis that we're seeing on her MRI breast as well. So when the cancers are palpable and larger, there's a much higher chance that they have spread to local lymph nodes and they have spread to other areas in the body, including the bone, the liver, the lung, and sometimes the brain. Because a larger cancer has spread to multiple areas in the body, it's always better to find these cancers when they are much smaller and not palpable, and therefore it's important for you to have a regular screening mammogram for these cancers to be detected.